Hello everyone. In this video of regular expression package, you are going to learn about star and plus. So what does this star and plus? Do I mean multiplication and addition? No. In regular expression perspective, the star and plus has yet another different definition. So what is that? It is very simple. This is going to be represented as the number of occurrences of a particular pattern in a given string. I say pattern. So we know what is pattern in regular expression. That is what we fix as a formula or as a representation we want for an entire string. So what is this star and what is this plus? Let's oh, don't want to wait. We can see it immediately, right? So I want the regular expression package to be imported. So import regular expression package. Import RE. Now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to take right I extract each word in a given line using star and plus using star and plus I'm going to extract each word from a given string so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a string uh, say a string one is equal is going to be equal to we are learning python program in klu right so i say in k or carry right we are, uh, we are learning python programming in carry so this is what the string i'm going to take for uh, the learning this star and plus so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my compile method and create my formula. So my formula is going to be very simple. I'm going to extract words. So in the given sentence, is it's a question itself, it is very clear that I need to extract the words. So for extracting words, we know that we have something called as slash W escape sequence. This escape sequence will extract individual characters from a given string. I mean characters why because it extracts single character from the entire line single one by one character right so that is string of size one if i want to extract it as a word then what i have to do very simple put a star now what is this star going to represent we need to understand right star is used to specify zero or more occurrences of a given pattern zero or more occurrences for a given pattern is going to be represented by star so if slash w is going to be there here if i say slash w what is going to happen it is going to take this capital w once then e next then a space so space is not considered as slash w so it says slash w star which is says zero or more occurrences so it takes w also e also because zero or more it takes everything together and forms a word now i'll print this and let you know and how this actually work print p dot find all of string one right let's execute this and see how this w is going to work see I get something i'll close this compiler and uh, uh, create a new thing new interpreter for you so that the output becomes very clear yes you see i get v e w e both i'm getting by because zero or more occurrences so it is clubbing all the things here also you leave this i'll explain this uh, we have a or e because a is a, a slash w small w term so it is taken or is also a small w term e is also a small w term so more occurrences are taken here also more here also more occurrence so more occurrences of slash w is coupled together and then display but the original meaning of star is zero or more occurrence this space is not a slash small w term it is a space which doesn't comes in slash w it is a zero occurrence zero occurrence is also taken into consideration so it is actually taken into consideration now i'll explain you this with a small difference i am going to take this star and give it to be plus so what i'm going to take i'm going to use plus now 
plus is used to specify one or more occurrences of a given string right given factor so what i'm going to do just uh, let us have this as uh, p1 and we are going to have another pattern here p2 is going to be re dot compile of slash w plus now what happens the space that is an empty string will not be taken into consideration why because it says one or more occurrences zero or more occurrences is not considered it is going to take one or more occurrences so i say p2 dot find all of string one same string one i'm taking now i'll execute this and let you know so we'll have a print statement print zero or more occurrences of slash w and this is print one or more occurrences of slash w this is what we are going to study so see here in the zero or more occurrences of slash w you get this empty character for space actually space is not belonging to slash w it is going to give it the number of matching characters when it uh, see a space character is zero even though there is no match it will take that because zero or more occurrences is considered by star but when coming to plus it will not consider the zero matching it considers at least one matching that is one or more right so when i see a space character it is it is giving it zero matching so it will not consider so spaces are not considered here so this is a very clear explanation on how the star and plus will behave with respect to the escape sequences in regular expression right so when you want to combine these regular expressions together and and form a very big formula this star and plus makes a uh, plays a very big role without that you cannot build a very big formula right so these things will actually help you a lot right yes hope you have understood this star and plus concept very clearly with respect to w similarly you can use it for slash d slash s and so on yes thank you